It comes down to two and a quarter seconds. That's how long between when Officer Carl Thompson confronted Otto Zem and Thompson's first baton strike. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nadine Woodward. And I'm Mike Gonzalez. The defense disputes that, saying Zem ignored Thompson's order to drop the bottle, but prosecution's experts say that's because Zem was holding only a two-liter pop bottle. Thompson used excessive force when he hit him with his police baton, but a Spokane police officer and former defensive tactics officer disagrees and made a home video to prove his point. In the Kexa Y4 exclusive hour, Jeff Humphrey is live at the zip trip where the incident happened to show us that recording. Jeff. And Dean Dean, from their first day in the academy, rookie police officers are taught to watch the hands of the people they're contacting. They're told that crooks can't hurt them with a gun or a knife without their hands, and that may be one reason why Carl Thompson was so insistent that Otto Zem drop that pop bottle. And as it turns out, those two liter containers can make a pretty hefty weapon. Frank Earhart taught defensive tactics in the Fort Worth Police Department before transferring to Spokane. A couple of years ago, Earhart got angry when he heard reporters characterizing Otto Zem's soda bottle as something that couldn't be used or even construed as a weapon. And so on his own time, Earhart set out to see what type of damage he could do with a sealed bottle that weighs a little more than four pounds. By slamming the bottle down, Earhart had no trouble clobbering a watermelon and then decided to up the ante by targeting a pair of coconuts. They were also flattened by the pop model, and even various pieces of lumber were no match for the container, which never split open. Earhart was even able to take the same type of baton that Officer Carl Thompson was carrying that night and broke it in half as well. Well, Earhart has shared that video with Carl Thompson's defense team, but so far has not been listed as a witness in this trial. And so now he's hoping that video will help the public understand that when officers are going someplace where a crime may have occurred, keeping your hands empty and in plain sight, probably the safest thing for everyone involved. Reporting live in North Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXOY4. Thank you, Jeff. So what's next? Well, prosecutors, prosecutors are expected to call police officers about what they knew and what Carl Thompson told them. Assistant Chief Jim Nix expected to take the stand sometime tomorrow morning. At least one officer will likely plead the fifth when he is called to testify. Be sure to stay with KXOI.com for the latest updates throughout this trial.